Okay, so let's create a new flow. In today's use case, customer want to delete hundreds of contacts, but the problem he's facing is uh, if his contact is related to one or many cases, then he gets this error. Um, let me show you what error it is. So in today's example, this uh, contact Acme INC1 from Flow is connected to two cases. So if the customer deletes this contact, this is the message that he gets that uh, your attempt to delete this uh, contact could not be completed because it is associated with the following cases and these are the two case IDs. So the problem is uh, if there is one contact then he can do that uh, like he will delete the cases first and then come to contacts and delete the contacts. Uh, and delete the contact that he want to delete right but uh, what if there are hundreds of contacts that he wants to delete that will be a lot of work to do right so that's why we are creating this flow that will be a record triggered flow and that will be triggered whenever a contact will be deleted okay now uh, in object select the contact object because uh, this will work on the contact object configure trigger trigger the flow when a record will be deleted and in the entry condition, there will be nothing because we want to check every contact that is being deleted. Okay. Now here, if you will uh, read this, this says before the record is deleted, the flow can access any record and perform actions before the triggering record is deleted from the database. What this means is that this flow will occur before the contact will be deleted from the database. Now, after that, it says to create, update or delete other records, add create record, update record and delete record elements to your flow. So basically, this flow will occur before the contact will be deleted from the database. So if we want to add something else or if you want to update some other records, delete some other records before this contact record will be deleted, then we can add these elements as well. And after that, it says the record global variable contains the Salesforce record that launches the flow. Basically, it says that if you want to access the field of that particular contact record that will be available in this record global variable. Okay, so that's it for that. Let's click on done. Now, what we want to do is we want to delete all the related cases before the contact will be deleted. So there will be no error and the contact will be deleted successfully. So for that, what we'll do is we will first get all the cases related to this uh, contact. Okay, get cases, cases related to contact, object is case. And the condition will be where contact ID equals to record dot ID. And all records assign all the fees automatically and click on done. Okay. Now in this get cases, in this get cases, get record element, we have all the cases related to this particular contact. Okay. Now what we'll do is we can just add a delete element directly, but uh, that will be a good idea if we can add a decision element and check if the get cases, get record element is not null. Check the get cases element. Because if that is null, then uh, what is the need of the delete record element, right? Mm. Check if null and the condition will be get cases is null false. Okay. And click on done. So if uh, this is so if get cases is null equals to false, which means it will come here, uh, we will add a delete element, delete record element, and we will delete all the uh, cases that we have in the get cases element. Okay, delete the cases. So here we don't have to do anything. We just have to choose the use the ID stored in the record variable. And here we will just add the uh, get record uh, element that we have. Okay. Uh, in this get record element, we already have all the cases that we want to lead. And let's just click on done. 
and that is it your flow is done now what will happen is whenever a user will click on the delete button of any contact record it will come to this flow it will get all the cases of that contact okay now after that it will check if the cases are there that means uh, it is not required that every contact will be connected to a case okay uh, this can be possible that the contact is not related to any case so this will just be checked here if the contact is related to the case that means the get cases will not be null if the get cases is not null then it will come here and it will delete all the get cases like that okay and that is it the flow will end after that the contact will be deleted from the database okay now let's just save it and check if it is working fine delete related cases contacts save and activate okay now we just need to check if the error still occurs when we try to leave the Acme INC1. Okay, so now let's just quickly delete the Acme INC1 contact and see if the error still occurs or if the cases uh, are deleted or if the cases are deleted and the contact is deleted as well let's click on the delete button so the contact is deleted successfully there is no errors and now let's go to cases and check if the case 1 and 2 is deleted as well mm, come on brandy yeah so the cases are already deleted uh, that means our flow is working absolutely fine okay. so with that the error will not be the user will not have to delete those cases manually and then come back to contact and delete the contact manually so so that was today's example i hope you found this useful with this you can easily achieve the before deletion process like uh, if before deleting the contact you want to send an email if before deleting the contact you want to um, update something or you want to delete something else like we did here we delete all the cases related to the contact you can do that uh, that's it that's it for today i hope you found this useful i'll see you super soon in my next video till then bye bye take care and keep learning